Learning how to swim has to be one of the scariest things ever to do as an adult, but I promise you, it's not that bad. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sierra, if you're new here, and if you're not, welcome back. Today I'm going to be telling you all about my experience learning how to swim as an adult. Oh my goodness. This has been on my bucket list forever. I have plans to travel all over the world. I want to see every tropic place, every little place, cold, warm, US, South America, Africa. I want to go everywhere. So how can I travel to all these places and do all these fun, cool things if I can't swim? And plus, who is trying to be a statistic anyway? You know, they say black people don't know how to swim. We gotta know how to swim, guys. It's not that bad, I promise you guys. I was terrified going in, but after my first class, all my discomfort went out the window. I was with a lovely group of people and my instructors were super helpful. So I signed up for classes at my local sports and learning complex. So if you have a YMCA or anything like that near you, just look online for your county or your state and they should have options for you to sign up for classes. My class was about $60. It was for eight classes. Uh, I took it four days a week for two weeks, but they have different options that might fit into your schedule a little better. I will admit taking it four days a week was super aggressive, but I kind of wanted to get in and out as fast as possible, and I'm glad I did it. Another option you have is to go to a place that actually sells swimming lessons. So I know like Kids First Swimming School is a popular chain and there might be something else near you, but those cost a little bit more. They have group classes and you can also sign up for private classes if you want more one-on-one, -on -one, but I was fine with learning in a group setting. So honestly, I wasn't that nervous about learning how to swim in general. I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'10", so I knew we weren't gonna be in deep water, but I was more nervous about, you know, getting there, who was gonna be in my class. I signed up for a mixed ages class, so I didn't wanna be the oldest one amongst a bunch of little kids. Um, but it turned out that it was mostly older people in my class, maybe two or three. It was about 10 of us, so two or three of us were on the younger side and the rest were older, which was super encouraging. Everyone was super sweet in the class. Our instructors, their name was Raven and Amber Lynn. They were super nice uh, and helpful throughout the whole process. So next, I just wanna talk about what exactly we learned in the eight days that we had class. So on day one, we kinda just got an introduction from our instructors and we learned how to bob, which is pretty much dunking your head under the water and breathing out your nose or your mouth. So when you're learning how to swim, when you swim, you're not supposed to hold your breath under the water, you're supposed to blow out. I didn't know that going into it, so um, we just spent most of the first class learning how to do that, which was very interesting. On the first class, we also learned how to do front floats, so floating with your face under the water. That was super easy, you just had to um, stretch your arms out, keep your chin tucked, and you kind of just floated right to the top of the surface. That was pretty easy for most of us to grasp. Uh, and that was the end of day one. Every day we practiced what we did the days before and they introduced a new concept most of the time. So for the second day, we practiced everything we did on the first day and we learned how to do a front glide and with kicks. So pretty much that is when you're along the side of the pool and you know, you put your hands up like swimmers do and you just push off the side of the wall and glide forward. Um, and then you kick your feet under. Of course, your instructors will show you exactly how to do that, but I grasped it pretty quickly. I would say there was a fair mix of like who was getting the concepts quickly and some people needing more work as it is in pretty much every class. Uh, but I would say if you are, if you have even an ounce of athleticism in you that you would be fairly successful doing these things. Like I didn't think that it was extremely hard to do, uh, but it did take some practice to get better. Day three, our instructors 
incorporated arms with those glides and how exactly to pedal your arms uh, while you're swimming in the water. They also tried to show us a bonus intermediate technique, kind of when you turn your head to the side out the water to breathe. I never grasped that. <laughs> it was way too hard for me, but um, some of the other people in the class were doing better at it. Uh, but they said it was an intermediate practice, so they were just kind of giving it to us as like a bonus thing if you wanted to try it out that they suggested it, but it wasn't necessary to pass the class. And day four, which was the last day of the first week, we kind of just went over everything that we already did. We did everything on our front side the first week, and then the second week we moved on to doing things on our back. So week two looked very much like week one, but we were just on our backs. So the first day of the second week, we learned how to float on our backs. Then the second day, we learned how to do back glides, which is basically pretty much pushing off the wall on your back. Uh, that was really my favorite part was um, learning how to swim on my back. And then, you know, incorporating the kicking. Then that third class, uh, they taught us how to incorporate the arms and the fourth class we kind of just practiced everything that we learned all over again and right at the very bitty bitty end of the class they showed us how to tread water but we really didn't get a big opportunity to learn how to tread uh, which I was disappointed about because I really want to learn how to tread water the most I feel like that's like the most important thing to know how to swim anywhere in the ocean or in deep pools like that's like the most important thing is how to tread water so that you're not sinking straight to the bottom so also on the last day of class we received report cards when they mentioned we were getting report cards it was kind of nerve-wracking to me because i don't like the feeling of being judged on like an a b c d e f kind of scale but it was actually just like a little checklist just showing you everything that you successfully completed and recommending if you move on to the next class or if you should take the class over again. So I definitely plan on going back to do an intermediate class just to advance my skills and hopefully I can learn how to tread water <laughs> because that's the one thing that I wanted to learn the most and I didn't get the opportunity to. So if you're thinking about signing up for classes, I would highly recommend it. For the price I paid $60 for eight classes, it's a wonderful deal that's less than $10 a class. Like you can't beat that. And also it's just a very important life skill that you need to know how to do. Um, no one wants to learn, no one wants to drown or die from drowning or be afraid of the ocean or be afraid of doing fun things just because you can't swim. Uh, after two weeks of practice, I can safely say that I can swim. I can swim in a pool. I can't sweep, swim in deep water just yet because I don't know how to tread water, but I can get from point A to point B for sure. Can I swim super long? No, but can I do the technique successfully and get a little distance? Absolutely. So it was for sure worth it. If you're nervous at all, don't be. Your classmates are all there with little to no experience on swimming and y'all are all there for the same purpose. So nobody's judging you, no one's making fun of you. Your instructors just want the best for you. So just take their advice. Also take advantage of them because one thing I wish I did more was ask for critique more or ask for more guidance. Uh, being in a group class, you know, you have, to, you have to speak up if you have a question because they could be working with someone else or they can just be on the side monitoring you. So definitely take advantage of your instructors while you're there to get the most out of your experience. Things you're gonna need to help you if you are taking swimming classes, you'll definitely need goggles. Now goggles are not the cutest look now. <laughs> but they're definitely gonna help. You got, you're gonna wanna have your eyes open while you're under the pool because you need to see where you're going and it just helps you feel way more oriented. When your eyes are closed, you don't quite know if you're moving or not and that can be very discouraging. So definitely invest in some good goggles. I got some cheap goggles and they kept getting water in my eyes. So definitely invest in some good goggles. Um, get some from Amazon. I went to Ross and got like a pack of three for like $6. Bad decision, all three was trash. They broke on me, they were 
ones. Um, they were too big for my eyes. Get some that fit your eye socket and try not to wait too far um, ahead of your class. Do this in advance to make sure they're a good fit because you're gonna need them. Something that's optional, I didn't use a swim cap, but I wish I did for some days. It was so exhausting washing my hair, my thick, thick, gigantic hair every freaking day. It was horrible, it was horrible. So get a natural, they have swim caps for natural hair if you have big hair like me, or you know, get some braids or something so you can wear a swim cap because washing your hair every night is not it, man, it's not it. And I was taking classes four days in a row. It was just too much and my hair was getting tired of it. I was getting tired of it. After you get home from your swimming lessons, the last thing you wanna do is wash your hair. It's too much, it's way too much. Another thing to think about is, do you have a modest bathing suit? Because a lot of my bathing suits are kind of kind of skimpy, you know, a little thongy, a little cheeky. <laughs> so I had to uh, get a bathing suit that wasn't too revealing. Even some of my one pieces that I had, they were like kind of cut low at the chest. And when you're diving forward in the water, a lot of the times it'll drag your bathing suit down. So I know somebody got a glimpse at my nipple at least one time. <laughs> because my boots was out. They were out <laughs> at one point. I was like, I cannot wear this bathing suit again. Like it was a one piece, it was modest, but get one that's probably like a scoop neck that's really tight on you that won't, that won't let the water take it away with you as you're diving in the water. Because I know people with their goggles on, they looking around under the water, they just might see a nip slip. They just might. But yeah, it was a lot of older people there and they were like taking classes and little kids and the whole demographic. So uh, just to be respectful, just try to wear a modest bathing suit. A quick tip, um, if your classes are as short as ours were, they were only 40 minutes, try to get there a little early so that you can get the most out of your class. And if you do have the chance to stay after to practice a little bit more, you definitely should. Those 40 minutes will go by so, so, so fast. I would get a little bit tired um, just from swimming back and forth. It can be a little tiring, so I can understand why the classes are shorter, but you don't wanna miss out on any of it since it's so quick. And if you come 20 minutes late, you only have 20 minutes left and you just don't wanna do that, even if it's a group class. So definitely try to take it seriously and practice as much as possible after your class or before just to get the most out of your experience. But yeah, I just wanted this video to be short and sweet. It was a beginner class, so I wasn't expecting too much from it, but I did um, have my expectations exceeded because of it. I'm super excited to learn how to swim. I plan on snorkeling, scuba diving, doing all the crazy things, cliff jumping everywhere. You're gonna catch me in Putacana and Puerto Rico and wherever is blue water, that's where I'm gonna be, okay? And I'm gonna be swimming with the dolphins without a life jacket, period. <laughs> But that is pretty much it for this video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet because that's how the classes were. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I love responding to you guys. And if you found anything helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you back again. Have a great day and thank you so much for watching.